So hey there guys, welcome back today to another video on this channel. And in today's video, yes, I'm gonna continue the same explosive series. The explosive and mind-blowing and mind-warping series that is Artemis Fowl. And today I'm gonna give a book review and summary of the seventh book in the series that is Artemis Fowl and the Atlantis Complex, written by Owen Colfer. So if you haven't seen my previous six videos of the Artemis Fall series, then make sure you check out those videos too. I'll be linking them in the description down below or the link will be hovering right about here. So today I'm gonna give a book review and summary of this book. Let us talk a little bit about the book. The book, the cover design of the book is spectacular. It's like Artemis Fowl is drowning inside a water bubble. And this book is comparatively smaller than the other books in the series. So now let us come to the review part of the video. This book starts when Artemis Fowl conducts a meeting with his fairy ally, that is Captain Holy Short, Foley and Commander Vinyaya. So Artemis Fowl had come up with an invention which, has n which nobody has ever thought of. This was the best invention in human history. That is, he was gonna save our planet Earth from global warming. Because he had invented this micro wafer which apparently looked just like a snowflake. So his plan was to shoot this micro wafer into the cloud and you know when it snows the micro wafer will come along with the snow. And the particular place where the micro wafer lands, it will be protected from the global warming. That's so, that sounds amazing and exciting, right? Yes. And Foley was the one who was most excited. He was amazed because this was something new. So everyone wanted a practical demonstration. And Artemis Fowl, the criminal mastermind, was very ready to oblige. So he was about to start his practical demonstration in Iceland when a probe came undetected. And this probe was actually one of Foley's probes. So, to start with, Artemis Fowl had been affected with a disorder that is Atlantis Complex, a multiple personality disorder dabbling in magic. And it is like Artemis Fowl, you know, Artemis Fowl had this disorder and he thinks that five, number five is good and number four is bad. So, number four apparently sounds like death in the Chinese language. So what happens is that Artemis Fowl was happy because this was his 15th birthday, a multiple of five, which was good. And yes, there were five members in the meeting, actually four, because one of the people who was Commander Trouble Kelp refused to come and he was, you know, in a good mood. So Artemis Fowl thought, God, you know, he didn't realize that he had been affected by this disorder. And he thought that the probe which was attacking the spaceship, actually not a spaceship, actually a spaceship, okay. So the probe which was attacking the ship was not real. He thought that it was not real. And he shouted, you are not real and all. But Captain Holy Short, everyone went short. And Captain Holy Short was the only one who was you know, not that severely injured and she shot Artemis Fowl with an electrocuted gun. So when Artemis Fowl wake up, woke up, he was not Artemis Fowl. He was Orion Fowl. This was the second stage of the Atlantis complex. So Artemis Fowl derived his name from the goddess of hunch, Artemis. And Artemis actually de uh, defeated one of a giant, which was a okay, which was Orion, and he, she defeated it by sending a scorpion. And now, actually, there were two different enemies; they were total enemies. And now it's just like that: Artemis Fowl, Orion Fowl. So when Artemis Fowl was electrocuted, Orion Fowl came in place instead of Artemis Fowl and took control over Artemis Fowl's mind and body. So now Orion Fowl was of no use for Command uh, Captain Holy Short and Foley because he didn't know anything. He was some kind of a fantasy character and he called Foley a goodly beast. So what happens is that Holy 
Foley Lee and Orion Fowl were going to in search of the probe and they got to know that the probe was heading to Atlantis. Luckily, Captain Holy Shot managed to send a message to Atlantis and that made everyone in Atlantis to evacuate. So in the starting, Artemis Fowl, who was not in control actually because of the, uh, you know, Atlantis complex, in the starting of the book, he sent away Butler because he didn't trust Butler right now. He didn't trust anybody. He didn't even trust himself right now. He was in that paranoia, the first stage of the Atlantis complex. He had been severely aff aff affected, yes. So now a butler was he was extremely angry on Artemis Fowl because the uh, butler and Juliet had to fight about many hundreds and two hundreds of wrestling fans who were mesmerized by you know nobody knows so they were mesmerized and they had to fight butler and Juliet had to fight these mesmerized people and had to come out. Even Butler and Juliet teamed up with the kleptomaniac ga dwarf. Any guesses who it is? Oh yeah, it's Mulch Diggums. So now Butler, Juliet, and Mulch Diggums were a team, and Orion Fowl and Butler uh, and uh, Foley and Holy were a team who were underwater right now. So Orion Fowl was electrocuted again, and guess what? Artemis Fowl was back. And when Butler caught up with Artemis Fall, he was extremely angry. He was extremely, he threw all his anger on Artemis Fall, and then he got to know that it wasn't Artemis Fall's mistake, but it was because of the Atlantis complex. So Butler forgave him and all that happened. And the person who sent this probe, who controlled this probe from a really far, far away place, because it was remote control, it was revealed. It was brother. It was the brother of Julius Root. I didn't know that there was a brother of Julius Root. Anyways, it was Captain Turnbull Root. So Captain Turnbull Root actually sent this probe to attack these all people. Now he had teamed up with all his friends, and he had, found, you know, he had become a public enemy number two after Opal Cowboy. So he was doing this for a good cause in a bad way. He was about he wanted to save uh, Leonor Casby, who was a human and now she had become really old. And now he wanted Captain Honeyshot and everyone's help to bring number one, the demon warlock, the most powerful demon warlock. And they wanted demon the d number one to revive Leonor Casby. So that's why he sent these multiple attacks. So uh, you know he had sent uh, he had created a black uh, dark magic by which Leonor Casby was controlled because Leonor Casby's wish was to fly in an airplane, but Captain Turnbull Root declined it because he thought that she might fly away from him, and that's why she, he used this dark magic to control her. And now he used the same dark magic to control Captain Holy Shot and make her bring, you know who? Number one, the demon warlock. So when number one came and everything happened when Butler and Juliet fought against these people. So what happens is that Butler and Juliet were defeated and Artemis Fowl was electrocuted. Actually what happened is that Artemis Fowl also had this dark magic which was controlled, which was, you know, he was controlled by Captain Turnbull Root. And that's why he had a plan. He had enough willpower to resist that dark magic for a few moments. And that's why he resisted that and he made some dwarfs to shoot him with the electric gun. And he got electrocuted again. And guess who comes? Orion Fowl. Artemis Fowl was affected with the dark magic, not Orion Fowl. Look, Artemis Fowl is the most brilliant person of all times. Yes, he is a character. I just can't believe how Owen Colfer comes up with this really brilliant character. 
So Orion Fowl comes and finally he saves everyone. How? Do you want to know it? Do you want to know the method by how he saves everyone? Then make sure you read this book. This book had been the best in the series and I know the next book in the series would be more better than this book. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you read this book and make sure you leave a big thumbs up to this video. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And turn on that post notification so that you can notify whenever I upload a new video on this channel. And until then, make sure you also watch my previous videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Till then, goodbye.